Okay, the light's not very good, so I apologize for this weird shadow that's like over here, but uh, I'm going to show you how I draw. And I'm not using anything special, it's just a regular pencil, sort of an HB. First thing I do is I block out the basic shape that I want. And I'd already decided that I want to do kind of an action pose. And so I'm, I'm doing sort of the, the basics here. Definitely subject to change. Everything changes based on like what the drawing wants. <clears throat> but you can see there's like no detail. You can't even tell who it is yet. But I'm figuring out where things are. Mainly joints, like shoulders, shoulder, leg, leg, torso, and how it's how the torso is formed. And then I'll start like making a few changes here and there. Now I've kind of figured out what I want, where I want it. And I'm going to do something about the uh, face. Okay, face. Where is it going to be looking? Straight at the camera? Off to one side? Over one shoulder? I think over one shoulder. Who is it? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I kind of do know, but you don't know yet, so that's what's fun. Okay, square jaw. We're doing Marvel superhero style. Not that there really is a style for Marvel anymore. They pretend that there is, but there isn't really. Now oh, my cat's about to destroy the universe. <clears throat> I apologize if my cat comes in randomly and uh, like gets involved in the drawing process. She does that a lot. Okay, so now you can see you've got like a basic face shape going on here. There are only a few Marvel obsessions that I have right now. And this is one of them. Alright, so, <clears throat> you can see I'm, I'm giving form to the arms by sort of drawing a whole bunch of curved lines like this. What that's going to do is it's going to kind of show me which direction the arms are going, where they are in relation to each other, and where, where, like where the muscles are in relation to each other, and it'll give me a real... Um, sort of structure for the muscles. Well, it also helps that he's got kind of, you know, stripy metal arms. Yeah, if you hadn't guessed yet, this is going to be, this is totally Colossus. So psyched about seeing him in the Deadpool movie. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm going to give him his little booty shorts, because that is my favorite outfit of his. And I think it was originally intended that the booty shorts would be so that he can show off his metal legs. Which, to be fair, is perfectly fine with me. <clears throat> I love how Marvel has like all of these glorified swimming suits that they start out with. And then it all changes and only the women are in glorified swimming suits and the men have better suits. When I say I love it, I mean it, it really sucks. Which is why I was so excited to see like Miss Marvel with her cute little dress. Kamala Khan's my hero. Okay. So now I have this basic shape, and I've got most of the, figured out most of 
how things are going to look. And now I got to figure out where he is because, okay, <clears throat> so the reason I didn't draw his feet yet was I was thinking he'd be in the snow. And after I've been drawing him for a little bit, I'm not quite sure about that. Oh, kitty pride, why did you ever leave such an amazing whatever? So, from here, this is my initial sketch, my first sketch. <clears throat> it's very rough. And I don't really have a whole lot of uh, like reference for the costume either. I'm not actually looking at any references while I'm doing this. I'm just sort of drawing him. So <clears throat> what I do is now I figured all this out. From here, I will take this and scan it in. And when I scan it in, I will um, <laughs> clean it up a lot and make it ready to ink. Okay, and here's another little thing. This little curved bit here on the shoe, it's because the toes of shoes go up, and this is actually the bottom of the shoe right here, and then, anyway, nobody ever really explained that to me, and I had to draw a whole lot of boots in order to figure it out. So here he is. <clears throat> Colossus, in all of his beauty. Yay, Peter. Marvel has a lot of characters with metal arms. They like drawing metal arms. I know I do. Okay. So then, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where the light's coming from. Because you can't really put shading in if you don't know where the light source is. So if the light source is coming from here, then the, all the shadows will be on this side. If the light source is coming from the other direction, like from over here, then the shadows will all be on this side. I shouldn't have done this. <coughs> okay. So most people, what they do is they have the light shining into the face, which is pretty standard in a lot of comic books and a lot of things that make sense because in a story, your character is going to be sh um, looking into the light most often. However, a lot of times what, we've, what people have done lately, and uh, um, some of the classic artists really like to do this, is that they'll put the shadow behind so that or the light coming from behind, so that all of this side would be um, shaded. So we'd have shading in, along in, all along in here, along this side of the face. And it actually creates more drama when you do it this way. <laughs> Just like um, most people when they draw uh, three-quarter profiles, they'll draw it like this way. That would be like a three-quarter profile, so it's facing the, this direction. But if you make it face this direction, <clears throat> the same direction as we read, like they're looking forward, it's a lot of times it um, it makes for a more dramatic pose because we're not used to seeing that. Mainly because on our money and lots of things, they have the three-quarter profile going the other direction. Okay, so if the light's coming from here, then this part will be... This should be shadow. 